Morning folks. Day soap is going to be brought to us by Parasso. This one here is the white version. I think it's like uh, oatmeal and tea tree if I remember right. It, uh, it has a scent that's naturally occurring I think but that's about the only thing my nose ever picks up. Sometimes my nose <laughs> doesn't work all that well. <laughs> anyway, um, we got it whipped up here in a relatively small bowl with a uh, badger brush from Simpsons. The uh, brush and the uh, shaver today came by the way of uh, Steven Sprague. Today's shaver have it warming up here in a mug. Uh, this one here is a, it's by the way of a uh, mongoose, it's called a mongoose. And it takes a sh um, an injector blade, I was going to say shake, but it didn't necessarily have to be a shake. Uh, it has a, a quite a bit of weight to it. I, I'll have uh, information here about the length and the weight and all that sort of thing. But this is a stainless steel handle, really nice knurling here. This does weigh just a, a little bit, and like I say, it takes an injector blade or what some may be referred to as a mini hair shaper blade, like this one here. And this is the kind I've been using in the, sh the shaver. And uh, some folks may or may not appreciate the. Uh, uh, the shave with a, an injector blade that is something to keep in mind when you're using a shaver like this one here. And um, this is going to be what I'm going to follow up the shave with is a uh, Clubman Reserve uh, Gents Gin. It's kind of a uh, bright, what I would consider a bright uh, aftershave. It's not a, it doesn't, it's not deep or dark or anything quite like that. I already put a, a hot towel to the face this morning, used uh, coconut oil for the pre shave. And I'll go ahead and get started here. The uh, uh, you can find this particular shaver at uh, Maggard's. I have a link down below. Uh, it's no longer in production, but they do have uh, a few of these for sale. If you're interested in something like this, it uh, like I say, it does take an injector blade. Um, the injector blade, as it goes for what's available out on the market nowadays, is uh, you can get one like this one here, Persona, and if you're familiar with uh, Supply, uh, they have an injector and they uh, also have uh, some blades there that could be used. Here locally I can find Schick injector blades in the grocery store, and I haven't tried them just yet, but the last time I had looked at Maggard's, if I remember, I'll try to remember put a link down below. Uh, Dorco has uh, some injector blades. I have some. I just haven't tried them just yet. But uh, just some options as it goes for blade choices. But an injector blade will give you a different kind of feel uh, con compared to maybe like a Feather Artist Club blade or a Kai blade as far as that goes. It is a different kind of shave, that's for sure. Uh, also, there's a Schick Pro line, and I think it's a, it'll be a P20 is what it's called. P20, I think, would work with this. I don't have any P20. It's got the 30s, but not the 20s. going to get a start here. You can kind of tell that the uh, angle is already preset for you. That's the angle that you want to try to maintain through the shave. Uh, at least that's the way it's designed. Definitely would help, folks that are relatively new because finding an angle sometimes is just a lot of the challenge with the shaver and this one here is already preset. When I first started wet shaving in uh, 2015 um, the best of my memory the way I remember I didn't have any idea what a mongoose was didn't understand what a Feather Arts Club blade was or anything of the sort, but it was a fairly popular uh, shaver at that point in time. And um, I guess you might say the full size version would take a Feather, Feather Arts Club style blade. And uh, I can remember the stories of it was either you were on a uh, wait list or something of the sort. In other words, uh, the demand seemed to be exceeding the uh, the supply at the time, but uh, it was a fairly popular shaver at the time. I 
don't see very many shave of the days with it nowadays but uh at the time it was fairly popular I don't think and I could be wrong like I say I was just starting out so not being familiar with a whole lot of what was going on at the time I don't think there were very many shavers at out at that point in time of that style that take a feather artist club blade so you can kind of understand where the I guess you might say the excitement was around the shaver at the time I think could be wrong I think the going price was right around a hundred dollars it might have been more than that I see at the time I didn't understand what a what a mongoose was a feather artist club blade I had no idea I'm still trying to wrap my mind around a, uh, a DE shaper much less anything that took a different kind of style blade but at any rate <laughs> yeah when I first started out it was a there, there's a learning curve all the different kind of shavers and blades and styles and, and even nowadays there things are still on the I guess you might say the evolution of the shavers Broman would be one that kind of pops to mind that's here recently that uh I've got it on order they were out of stock at the time so whenever those do come back in stock I should be getting one. I'm sure you may have seen a few videos, but it is an interesting shaver. I do like how they've got the uh, the base set up where you can put the shaver inside the base and then in, in, there's a cap that you can open up and you can have some blades in there. I thought that was a pretty good idea. Nice design. Single edge shaver. Takes half of a DE blade. I'm sure there's some folks they were shaving long before I started this kind of style of remember the guess you might say all the excitement around a, a mongoose I know it was look it looked pretty impressive <laughs> to me the head just looked huge like I said at that point in time I had no idea what a feather artist club blade was and this one here when you uh, put in the blade it's it's not a how you say it, a snug fit there's a just a tiny bit of tolerance there where the blade can move one one way or the other it's just a very small tolerance it doesn't bother me to me the number of times I tried to how can you say adjust the blade I could never I can't see the difference I don't feel the difference no matter how I try to load the blade one way one time and then try to load it a different way it just I never got any kind of difference in the shave feel now there are some shavers that's a little different that there's enough of the tolerance where it does affect the shave at the time when that took place with uh, the icon I think it's called El Jefe um, I really I always loaded the blade the same way so the tolerance, in other words, the, the amount of wiggle that there was left in there that you could adjust from one side to the other. I always had loaded it one particular way so my shaves were always consistent and didn't even realize that there was a, a I guess you might say some folks didn't always load it the same way so the shaves were different and they were unhappy about that kind of tolerance. So I, guess, I guess you might say they felt it was a little too sloppy. For me it works just fine because I always loaded it the same way creature of habit I do have a tendency to be that way but this one here like I say it no matter how I put it in there I never got got the difference that may have been a, a factor in some other shavers this handle though it has some weight behind it I'm wanting to say this is near I'm trying to remember because I looked at so many shavers over the weekend uh, weights and whatnot I think this one here rain right around three and a half ounces I think it's it has weight behind it to me that's what makes this shaver pretty nice yeah, with that kind of weight with the Anglory preset
let the weight of the, the shaver, sharpness of the blade do the trick. I've been shaving with the shaver for over a week and it is pretty nice. But like I said, you know, some people don't get good shaves with uh, injector blades. I'll do one more video with this shaver and I'll uh, get the Dorco injector blade out and take it for a spin or two or three <laughs> like I say I've been enjoying my shaves with it have been somewhat under the weather uh, missed a few days of work uh, whatever this cold like stuff that I've got that settled down in my chest just right here so been pretty fortunate this morning have Woke up earlier coughing and carrying on, but so far right now I'm doing pretty good. As it goes for Parasso, I have to say that it gives me plenty of cushion, slickness, and glide for a shaver like this. Face feels really nice. Without putting out a whole lot of effort, this is one of those shavers where uh, I don't have to, you know, I just go through my normal routine. I get at least, there's a little bit. That I could use for a pickup right underneath here, but really smooth, comfortable shave. My face feels pretty nice right now. Sometimes I do wonder, I do uh, from time to time, uh, by the way, got to start the new Allen block complete with rubber band. And this one here is the Crown King, so I've had this one for, for a good long moment. Uh, Sometimes I do wonder though if my, my pre-shave routine doesn't have some effect on my post-shave feel using coconut oil. Since I've been using coconut oil for the length of time that I have, I am kind of considering now switching and using the Phoenix Artisan Cutrements uh, cube. It's been a moment since I've used it. Refresh my memory. See what kind of difference I get. Not only during the shave but my post shave feel. There is something that I feel like the oil in some cases adds to the uh, adds to the shave and in some cases kind of feel like maybe it might take away depending on what kind of soap you use. Uh, for me the uh, uh, the shave got some Humphreys Witch Hazel here. The shave is uh, the post shave seems like it affects it at times with that and then sometimes it feels that it affects the shave itself when I'm shaving with the shave bed I can feel the difference on how the uh, uh, how the blade glides across the face and if I remember right the way I remember it it seemed like the Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements uh, pre-shave cube uh, worked better with the shave bed and it seems like the coconut oil the pre-shave oil seems to be working better uh, as it goes for a post-shave feel. It's kind of odd. Put a little bit more in there. Yeah, so I thought I would... I still have my little sliver that I use off camera as the Allen block. But I thought it might be time to <laughs> show folks what I'm talking about. I used to always say, you know, complete with rubber band with my Allen block and some folks didn't have any idea what I was talking about but if you get one of these Allen blocks from uh, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements it comes with a rubber band uh, helps to hang on to the uh, Allen block and I've had this this sliver here <laughs> this little tiny piece I had right here I've had it for a good number of years now from the very well it's my first Allen block as far as that goes last you a good long while. I think it's around about four dollars fifty cents. Pretty inexpensive. Just gin. There's a, in case you're unfamiliar with uh, Clubman Reserve, there's three, I guess you might say, flavors of this. Uh, and one of the things I do like about this uh, particular setup is it tells you what the uh, scent profile more or less is right on the front label. At least it's on the label. 
a lot of times you don't want to find anything of the sort on, on the label. This one here says it's a masculine scent with a uh, gin signature, lime, and cedar notes. And it's right there on the bottom like that. That's pretty nice. Well, like I said, this one here, the other two, uh, Brandy Spice and, shoot, the other one slipped my mind what the name of it is. Anyhow, there's three of them. This one here I would consider what a, the brighter, it's not near as dark. Uh, might consider it light, maybe, perhaps. But I do like this one here for special, you know, certain days. I say special occasions. It's Monday. <laughs> I had a great shave. Like I said, I'll do another one with the Mingoose. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe and smooth shaved.